Hey everyone, Tim the Collect Jurassic. We're here with another Mattel Jurassic World Dominion toy unboxing, looking at the Jurassic World minis line. One of my favorite lines um, from this year of new Jurassic World toys. If you've been following along on the channel, I've unboxed the blind, uh, the blind boxes, some of the play sets. Um, there's so many play sets and this new place that I'm really excited about. I don't have this one yet. This is the uh, like the sanctuary, mini sanctuary on the go. It's really cool. Comes with this awesome um, box, as you can see with the logo and like this cool rock motif. It also has um, like a play platform, all this cool stuff inside. Um, fences, dinosaur figures I don't have yet. So really excited about that one. But I also have these little um, kind of like multi-packs. Uh, flight or fight pack or fight or flight pack as well as the total battle pack to open up um i know if you these look familiar they're the same kind of deal as the wave one where they put all the minis in this cool packaging that looks like a vehicle different vehicles too um which is fun um so all new figures uh, if you've been tuning in these are not things you've seen before this is a new stuff so really cool and we'll do some comparisons with the other minis as well because there's going to be some some uh i think there'll be some repaints in here and of course we want to see how all these play sets fit together right which is always super fun so let's go ahead and get started Started. we'll go ahead and start with the fight or fight pack i did want to note again that this is a new packaging um they've all come in this sort of like a truck idea but this one is a, a different uh different setup you can see uh, the back has like a comes with one airplane one fi human figure and three dinos and you can see even the peak and the window packaging there of the plane but yeah it's a little fun truck right um kind of a cool idea they have and one thing i think is kind of funny that a lot of people don't notice is um this packaging they have it like taped up a certain way which i don't know why because if you cut the this this tape which nobody would ever do this in the store but i feel like this would help sell these sets better um let me show you if i cut this tape here you get to see everything inside which makes it a much cooler package i think so um if they didn't tape that like that in the store you'd be able to take this and actually flip it open oops one piece of tape I missed there. Hold on. There we go. You'd actually be able to flip this open and see inside. Um, the I guess you can touch the airplane. <laughs> Maybe that's why they don't do this. But there's all these cool little punch outs here. This is like totally my preferred way to open these toys up now is use these punch outs. Um, so if you pop this open like so, it's like a little advent calendar almost. These these little things pop open. And inside, oh, look what we got. We got some dinosaurs inside. We have um, a new Atros Raptor that I don't think I have. I think this is, this must be maybe maybe Pantera. So we got Atros Raptor inside. We also have, get this guy out. We have Pyro Raptor. That's one I definitely don't have. Looking really cool, too, with the feathered arms. We'll take a look, a closer look at that here in a second. Then also we got Quetzalcoatlus, which I do have. I actually have two of these already from other packs. But, hey, another Quetzalcoatlus, right? Um, so those are the dinosaurs you can pop out. Also pop out this little window here. And we have, uh, we have uh, oh, the whole window came off. Um, we have Kayla, Pilot Kayla. Kayla Watts. Ugh, I can't get her out though. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this whole plastic tray out. That's gonna be easy for me to get everything out. Um, Cause I wanna get the airplane out too, right? Of course, so give me a second. I'm gonna just pull this tray out. And we can really kinda look at the toy at hand. So there is Kayla. Nice little small detailed Kayla figure um, with, um, arms that move and legs that move pretty cool um and this is the th oh and the waist rotates too so really nice articulation i don't know if you can see this but her 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 face even has like eyebrows and eyes painted it's pretty incredible the detail they pack into these little figures um and that's our that's a uh, the third figure that we've gotten as part of this line um we also have um claire and owen so we're getting the full lineup here now um and and these miniature figures which how cool is that i mean before they were just doing miniature dinos and now we're getting all of these little figures and we're getting vehicles i mean this is cool this is the airplane from the movie right 
um, that Caleb pilots and crashes into the Biosyn Reserve. It looks really cool. It's got this metallic paint on it. it has propellers that I oh yeah they move yeah that's cool so the propellers move has like the red tip on the uh front of the airplane the windows are painted it's even got like this cool sort of like uh gradient frost on the wingtips too little checkered graphic back there i mean pretty detailed all things considered it doesn't have like the her painted graphic on it but at this scale you really wouldn't imagine it too so you can it comes this set comes literally with quetzalcoatlus um, to attack the plane, crash the plane, Kayla and, o Kayla and Owen get out, and who do they meet? They meet the Pyroraptor, right? So the Pyroraptor figure is an all-new figure that I don't have yet, and I've been collecting these minis pretty obsessively, and I this is one we, we haven't gotten yet. It's a Wave 2 blind box figure, but they even painted the iris. Look at that. Incredible. Wow, they don't even do that in some of the other figures. They just paint the eyes yellow. This one actually has the iris painted. So really cool version of a Trociraptor. Again, it does have the feathered arms too. The bigger figures don't even have that many feathers, but um, pretty cool lone uh, sculpt with the uh, tail um, all fluffed out with feathers. I mean, look at the detail on these minis. This is so cool. And this is an all new one too. Um, so that's a Trociraptor, or sorry, Pyroraptor, duh. Um, new mini that i did not have um so pyroraptor comes with this set we have the quetzalcoatlus and the plane um let me put owen and claire back got kayla we also have this pyroraptor which is one i don't have um again really cool detail on this one it's got painted eyes as well look at the little tiny stripes as painted on the side of its neck i mean this is awesome this would make this would give me my four pyroraptors that i needed um i already had ghost um and then i had red i love how tiny these things are i can't get over it so i had red uh ghost and then i also have i think this is tiger i don't know i definitely have four different ones but now that i'm looking at it it almost seems like i don't know i believe these are all four i, I don't know which one's supposed to be tiger and which one's supposed to be pantera i thought this was pantera but then when i look at this atroc raptor next to it it also sort of looks like pantera with just less paint applications on it so i don't know that's kind of a mystery to me feel free to weigh in the comments if you think i got it wrong if you think there's still another tiger atroc raptor coming then i might still have one to collect but I at least have four different atroc raptors in my hand um with this being the new one and just a really nice paint application on that yeah that's definitely pantera just a question of if, if this is like a bad tiger or a, a low effort <laughs> pantera we'll have to figure that one out um but that's that's what comes to this nice little uh fight or flight set um really recreating that scene from the movie um alongside a random power app you didn't have yet so all that in that box <laughs> is what is what you get so pretty cool we'll go ahead and hit the total battle pack next um for ease of kind of doing this i'm not going to do the whole um front well should i i mean is that kind of fun do we do we kind of enjoy that uh, i'm happy to do that one thing i want to note about this box is it, it really feels like the jeep gladiator from the movie it even has like the little kit and the spare tire on the roof so i think this one's kind of supposed to be influenced by that the jeep gladiator the biosyn jeep gladiator which i think is it's pretty cool um so yeah we'll go ahead and open this one the same way because i mean that is kind of a fun way to do it um so we pop this open and what do we see we see that tim forgot to uh <laughs> do another piece of tape so much tape though come on it's tough um so we open this up and we got T-Rex in there. Uh, and we have our little blind areas that we can open up here. So let me open those up. Oh, hard to do. There we go. Inside, it looks like we've got Therizinosaurus, Dimetrodon, and Giga. We also have, let's open this up. window man these these aren't always easy to open though i, I get why it's, there we go and we also have alan grant my favorite there he is alan grant let's get these out i'm gonna go ahead and pull the whole tray out that's just just an easier way to get these out and i feel like giga was kind of trapped in there anyway so open up the back of this vehicle and slide out 
our toy tray. So we got T-Rex, we got Giga, we got the Metrodon, um, we got the Osaurus as well. We grab all these out. Obviously, if you've seen the movie, which I assume you have if you're watching my channel, this is the final battle scene um, alongside the Metrodon. Um, the Metrodon was not in the final battle, didn't make the cut, but we have uh, Giga here, obviously a big part of the final battle. This Giga figure is no different than like the previous Giga figures they've given us in some of the other sets. Um, I guess if I was being like perfectly honest, um, the uh, the paint on this new one feels a little bit lighter, but like it's very slight. So yeah, they're basically the same. So um, we'll go ahead and take a look at T-Rex next. T-Rex, of course, um, also very similar to one we've already gotten. We'll go ahead and grab them off camera. Uh, this one came in one of the blind packs. Uh, blind packs, really, again, like the same T-Rex. This is actually the third one I've gotten, I think. So same exact Rex here, uh, maybe a little bit duller and green, but um, it's... Eh, there's even another one. I have, I have two other Rexes that I got in other, other sets. So they all have slightly different colored plastic i would say very slightly different colored plastic different washes on them honestly if you can see here they just have kind of a slightly different dark wash on the back um this one i got in the blind bag is really washed off all the dark paint you can see here whereas this one i just pulled from this box has most of the dark paint intact so just different variations across all of these but um for all intents and purposes they're the same same Rex figure. Um, so Rex and Giga aren't really anything new. Therizinosaurus 2, um, almost exactly like uh, the Therizinosaurus we got in the blind boxes. Um, literally no difference. Uh, same exact figure. I like this version though because it has the um, the articulated arms, right? There's a version that doesn't have articulated arms, I think comes in this box. Um, so being able to move those claws, obviously that's one of the main things from the movie, you know, it's claws slashing. So this version has that, but not on the new stuff, right? The Metrodon, all new figure that we haven't gotten yet. Um, it has the same coloration as the, uh, the bigger toy that came with the Alan Grant pack. Um, interesting though, it kind of looks like the old version of Mattel's Demetrodon figure, not their updated version. Particularly this weird little sail on the tail right here little bumps and then even the head looks like the old image round but the coloration looks just like the movie version and the toy version that comes to alan grant speaking of alan grant we've got an alan grant figure here too he's got articulated uh arms articulated legs so he can sit articulated waist i imagine yep and really nice detail on him you can see he's got a little painted beard little painted beady eyes really nice detail so pretty incredible what they can fit on these small figures so we got kayla and grant being added here to the um the claire and owen figures i already had so we just need ellie really um and then i would of course take malcolm too so hopefully those figures are on the way but we got alan grant here anyway looking fine in his smaller form again my favorite character so i'm happy to own alan grant so that's the uh that's the total battle pack and the fight or flight multi-figure pack. Good stuff. Got some new figures in Pyro and Dimetrodon, as well as those human figures in the airplane. All really cool stuff. Um, but what I'm really excited about is this massive playset, right? Comes in this cool tin. I believe it's called the, the Mega On The Go Dino Danger Set. So you can see inside, it's gonna come with some more figures, even more figures. Um, hopefully there's some new ones in there, or at least some variations, right? Um, but uh, also comes with fences and all this other cool stuff, too. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Take a look at the contents. Just going to break the zip tie here. And open her up. So there we go. Has these two little, like, um, clasps. And then you just literally lift the lid off. Oh, looks like it's attached on this side, too. Come on. Was this amateur hour? I didn't take off both pieces of plastic. There, now it's free. So pull that lid off. Uh, looks like it comes with instructions. Um, I'm gonna push back these guys for now. Sorry, you were exciting a few minutes ago and now there's even more new toys to look at. So go ahead and 
let's set those back up. Okay, so we got instructions here that uh, outlay the contents. I don't think we really need to look at the instructions. All of the fences, all of the different... Oh, cool. I already see a new figure I don't have. Um, well, this is fun. There's like a little plastic inset of, of more figures. And then, of course, you have the empty the empty bin itself. So I'm going to go ahead and put this bin off to the side because I think we're really going to focus on all these other pieces. So we'll go ahead and get some of the some of the uh, geological or uh, environmental pieces, I guess I should say, out. Looks like we got some nice little ramps in here. Some little platform deals. Um, some trees, even. So that's fun. I, I, these platforms, their purpose really is they go on... I believe they go on this. See how this has little indentations on it? These these things literally um, kind of set in there. Right? Is that how that works? Am I doing, yeah, I'm doing that right. They just kind of pop up for whatever reason. But then you can make like little um, entrances and exits to this. Uh, I think one, one can go there maybe. And we'll put one over here. So, yeah, you can make little entrances and exits interesting that these kind of there we go go ahead and put it over here so there's our little play platform that we got we also have three different trees which you can put the trees on these platforms see how it comes with these little platforms with um different dinosaur footprints and holes to put stuff in i don't have a bigger one like this i, I think i got a smaller one like this in a different set but with these you can really um you know, set up trees on those. You can put a tree on these, or you can set the trees up on this, uh, on this like environment up here. So I've already kind of started to make my little park. Oh, and there's this cool mountain too. This is a cool piece. Um, I wonder if you can set this on here. Yes, you can. Wow, they thought of everything. So this literally has little pegs on it. So you can attach that like that. I think I got it on there. Let's see. Looks like I'm missing one peg. There we go. So that's on there tight. Why do I feel like I'm not getting all the pegs? It's kind of hard. These pegs are hard to nail. Ugh. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to force it on camera. So we'll put this down here. We'll put a little tree on top. And there's our, our little beginnings of our uh, our park, right? And then we all can't forget the fences, a whole bag of fences, um, which is cool because I already got fences with another pack. So now I'm really swimming in the uh, dinosaur enclosures. And these fences are really, really cool, really, really slick. I really wish they'd make a full, full size version of them for the uh, three and three quarter figures because they're really cool. They have like the little Jurassic Park symbol on the top and they almost have like a little gate um, kind of design feature in the middle of them and they snap together super easily and then of course they pivot on each other all that good stuff so you can move them all around. Let's go ahead and build this entire fencing up so that we can use it for our park and get this in. This one came with a lot of fences. I kind of remember how many fences came with my other pack that I had, but this feels like I'm getting way more. Oh. And then we got two more fences to put together. This is more fences than, yeah, this is definitely way more fences than I had. You can see I'm, I can build quite an enclosure here with this. So we'll go ahead and set these back here for now but yeah whoa a lot of fences um but let's talk about the dinosaurs we got some dinosaurs with this pack too ah uh, these poor figure packs just got totally destroyed back here but i like to have my toys set up while we talk don't want to make a mess back here right um really i could set them all up on these platforms but i won't do that because we're going to do that with the new dinosaurs Pyro, come on, Kayla, stand up. Quads of Colas. It's got a little bag of dinosaurs as well as this little um, plastic insert. So we'll go ahead and open the bag first. Get out the toys in here. Interesting that they have um, 
that they have a bag and a plastic insert um, instead of putting them all in the plastic insert. But maybe these guys store better in a bag. So we got a Triceratops, two Triceratopses with different colorations even amongst these two. You can see different color greens. It's funny though, they neither of them have painted horns or anything like that. If we look at the Triceratops we got with the um, the single, the blind box pack, it has painted horns, it has painted eyes. These are a little cheaper. They don't have, they have the same like patterning and everything, different color patterns, but uh, we're not getting the the more painted detail on these. That's kind of a bummer. I, I don't think they should sacrifice that kind of stuff just because it's in a big play pack like this, but at least we got two different colors of Triceratopses, um, which is fun. So you have a nice little ready-made herd. We also got this one, uh, I think it was this Lysterosaurus, um, which again, we have, uh, we've gotten one version of those already. See how the one I got in the uh, blind box has the painted tusks. These ones again, don't have that painted, painted tusk or the painted eyes. So again, sort of paintless versions of these guys that come in this play pack. Um, all together, I have four of these guys now. Um, these two, um, this one from the blind box and this one from the play, play bag. They, they're very similar, but there's different patterning on this one. It's like thicker patterning. So, um, and this is one's all new. It almost looks like, <laughs> doesn't it look like red? It almost looks like they use the same coloration of, of a Velociraptor red. I don't know. Um, so that's a kind of an all new coloration for Lysterosaurus. So we have two of those to add. I don't know if they'd be a herd. They were kind of small in the movie, so they're kind of oversized here. And then in this plastic piece, looks like we have yet another Giganatosaurus. I don't even know how many of these Gigas I have at this point. Um, collecting minis, I have quite a few. So this is a new one. Um, Again, nothing different than uh, the Giga I already have. Uh, actually, it is different. It doesn't have articulation. There's no articulation on this one. It's literally just a mouth. Um, the other ones, you know, even the one I just opened in the Total Battle Pack has articulation on the jaw. So no articulation here, no eye paint here. So kind of taking that theme of, of less paint. The rubber also, eh, I guess it's still the same kind of soft rubber. And then we also have T-Rex which uh, I do have another T-Rex just like this with no articulation that came in a multi-pack um, for minis. Uh, basically the same color, maybe a little bit lighter. Um, darker base plastic, lighter highlight plastic, but same exact Rex, all intents and purposes. I really like this sculpt though. It's cool. I love the roaring T-Rex. It looks really cool in this pose. I like it better than like this T-Rex. This T-Rex looks kind of goofy to me. So I like the 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 bent over roaring pose better it's more more iconic of jurassic's t-rex right and we also have therizinosaurus which this is the kind that does not have any kind of articulation so if you can and he has less paint so if you compare him to the one we opened up in the final battle pack or total battle pack you can see he doesn't have those gray highlights doesn't have articulation does have an open mouth though um which is kind of cool it makes it different than the the other version. Get him to stand up back there. And it looks like a really detailed head too. I do have another one of these that I got with the pack. Um, and it looks like it's the same figure as well. So um, just a duplicate, less paint, all that good stuff. But look, you get your total battle pack right here in this set. And we'll also have a Guanodon, one of my species that I really like in Dominion. The, the, the full-size Mattel toy is awesome. So these minis are pretty cool too. This is a new one for me. I have uh, one from the blind packs. Of course, has a lot more paint on it, but uh, a new um, a new deco for this one. So that's cool. I mean, I love this one because it's got the eye paint and like, again, a little bit more paint going on all over. But this other version has got a fun new paint job too. So I'm um, building out my herd with a guanodon. And if you thought that was it, think again. Look at all these dinosaurs in here. There's even more. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Looks like we're getting more pyroraptors too. So um, first I'll take the Tranodon out. This Tranodon really reminds me of the Jurassic Park 3 Tranodon. Um, this is the second one I've gotten. Let's see if I can find 
yeah, I got it over here. So um, the other blind box one had this yellow beak, and this one looks very much like a Jurassic Park 3 Tranodon in colors. At least that's what how Mattel pictures it. So we got a Tranodon. I'm going to go ahead and put them up here on this little mountain peak. We also have blue, which is not a new figure. Um, it's literally identical to the other blue. I'm not, I'm not going to pull comparisons for some of these because it's literally the same figure. I have this interesting tiger velociraptor, um, which I do think was part of another. No, this is even different than the other raptor I have. So um, I love his like really defined stripes he has. Doesn't have the eye paint, I'm missing the eye paint, but um, a kind of a different take on Jurassic's velociraptor, which is cool. Um, I like that. I like getting more raptors. And this this set, set comes with four Atrociraptors. So here's that like, okay, so this is supposed to be Pantera. It is. I was mistaken before. This is just like a cheaper version of Pantera with less paint. We also have um, Ghost. So this looks, um, look again, like a, a, a less painted version of the Ghost that we already have. You can see the head doesn't have paint or eye paint or anything like that. So kind of an inferior version of Ghost. We also have whoever this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be... Uh, I don't know. It's supposed to be red. I don't, it looks weird. It's different. Um, so that's kind of a, a all new Power Raptor. And this is who I would call Tiger Power Raptor. I mean, he's got the orange on him. So a little more, more like an orange Tiger Raptor, really. But it's supposed to be a Tross Raptor. But it looks like you get all four Tross Raptors in this set. Whether or not they're the best versions of it, that's obviously up for debate. But um, but yeah, I mean, that set came with a lot of figures. Let me go ahead and kind of part the seat real quick and take a look at first and foremost this awesome platform set and all the little kind of features it has um one of the reasons it's not my table's not perfectly level so it's going to kind of pop out but what's awesome is that it has all these pegs on it so you can literally put these dinosaurs on these pegs and um you know have them see how they have little holes in their feet so you can literally pop them onto these things and they'll stay put so you can have all the dinosaurs roaming around here. Um, got the triceratopses. And then they also fit on these little platforms too. So you can literally put Giga on this one and he'll stay put. You can put T-Rex over here. Um, let me see if I can get this one. The whole, yeah, so he'll get, he goes on, the, on that platform. You can put... Uh, Oh, cool. The, the Pteranodon has a hole in its chest. So you can literally pop it on, on here, too, if you want. So um, that along with the fences, right? I mean, look, I got a whole I got a whole Biosyn Sanctuary here now. And that's what's so cool about this set is you get all these cool fences and environmental pieces. And if you mix them with, like, this other mini danger on the ghost set, which I reviewed separately, it also has a bunch of fences and um, environmental pieces. So you mix all this stuff together, and you have, like, a pretty awesome set. And, of course, um, I'd be remiss to not mention, like, there's other mini play sets. I, can't, I don't have room to put them on my table, but we have, like, this awesome um, bunker breakout set that, um, you know, added to this. It's so cool. So there's just so much you can do with these mini sets. Um, and not just with the dinosaurs and the environmental pieces and the playsets, but of course we have the human figures to talk about. Um, and then now they're doing vehicles too. So this minis line is just so, so cool. And I know every time I do a review on it, I totally geek out, geek out, ah, geek out on it, but I really do love this stuff. And, um, I just think it's such an innovative line with all the different, um, species they have and all the different kind of like ways you can play with it and the fences of course I love the fences so um, really cool job on the fences um, just one of my favorite parts but the trees and all that stuff help too so really cool stuff um, and it just keeps growing I think there's even more on the way after this for the blind boxes some other multi-packs so a lot more to collect for the Mattel Jurassic World Minis line. But I think that's all I got for this review of the multi-packs and of course this big mini sanctuary. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.